I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric identities. In this particular playlist, you'll find one video with multiple choice questions. And that gives you some basics about trigonometric expressions, how to simplify them, and how to prove identities. And then we'll have a couple of questions where some strategies will be utilized to prove slightly difficult level two trigonometric identities. Here is one of them. You need to prove cot x divided by cosecant x minus 1 plus cot x divided by cosecant x plus 1 equals to 2 times secant x. Now in this, we can start with the left side since it is more complicated. Now straight away, you can see that cot x is common. So I could write this as cot x as a common factor and I can rewrite this as 1 over cosecant x minus 1 plus 1 over cosecant x plus 1. Correct? Now, we can have a common denominator, cross multiply and simplify. So, what do we get? So, we get cot x and here we have common denominator which is cosecant x minus 1 times cosecant x plus 1 cross multiply so you get cosecant x plus 1 plus cosecant x minus 1 right so we have cot x the denominator becomes difference of square so we have cosecant square x minus 1. In the numerator, plus and minus 1 cancel and you get 2 cosecant x. Now what is cosecant square x minus 1? So I hope you remember the Pythagorean trigonometric identity which is 1 plus cot square x equals to cosecant square x, right? So if I simplify for cot square x, I get cot square x as equal to cosecant square x minus 1. So cosecant square x minus 1 can be replaced by cot square x, right? So, so that is what we are going to do. So we are going to use this particular expression for cosecant square x minus 1. So here we have cot square x. We will replace the denominator by cot square x. So what do we get? So we get cot x times, in the numerator, we have 2 cosecant x. And in the denominator, we get cot square x. Now, as you can see, one of the cot cotangents could be cancelled, right? So what do you get? Let us take it on the right side. So what do you get here? is 2 cosecant x over cotangent x. Now we can write them in terms of sine and cosine. Cosecant is reciprocal of sine. So cosecant x can be written as 1 over sine x. So it's good to write them separately. It's very clear, right? 2, the number 2, cosecant x is 1 over sine x cotangent x is cos x over sin x. It is in the denominator. So we'll write this as cos x over sin x. Perfect. Now you can cancel sin. And what you get here is 2 over cos x or 2 times 1 over cos x. 1 over cos x is secant x and that is what you need. So we get 2 secant x which is equal to right side. So we have shown how left side is equal to right side. Perfect. So that is how you can easily prove this particular identity. So I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And also practice some other questions from this playlist. Thanks for watching and all the best.